This is the second video where I'm uh, talking about um, the purchase and the process of configuring these RJ Energy cells that I bought. They're um, 271 amp hours. Uh, so today I'm going to uh, document my project on top balancing. Now some people talk about top balancing, bottom balancing, you know, what's necessary. Well, I, I'm not an expert on any of uh, these topics and I um, just follow um, the, the experts. So I'm, uh, this project is um, following somebody at Marine How To, his name's Rod, and um, he uh, has a full page on a very long document on uh, lithium LiPo 4 batteries that he spent years um, documenting and I just follow him and I think if you were to read the article you'd at least have somebody's advice that you could sound other people's um, advice off of and have a pretty good reference so what we're gonna do is go through um, his setup um, it starts with a, a charger and I know a lot of people don't uh, count on that expense and they want to try to skimp out on it because they want to get the net savings uh, they're interested in saving a third from the Battleborn drop-ins but unfortunately I think now that you've made the decision or you may make the decision to buy these individual cells you're gonna need a charger you're also gonna need a voltmeter um, I, I personally think that um, this voltmeter right here for $17.99 is a great value. It's a great voltmeter. Um, you're also going to need another meter that, um, that you're going to get maybe from Amazon or um, AliExpress or uh, someplace like that. And I, this is an AliExpress one and I'm showing it in the video to follow, but um, the main feature that you want is this level of accuracy right there. I also have um, some probes that I um, got from ProMaster, which I really like that goes with the voltmeter. Um, the other thing uh, I, this is the company I got the batteries from. Um, so let's let's go through this. You're gonna so the voltmeter is gonna connect to this charger, and then you're gonna have a, an independent voltage sense wire that's gonna connect to your pack. You're gonna parallel your packs. The packs are gonna be probably all about the same voltage. Mine were at 3.3 volts, and then you're going to follow these directions in charging up to these step levels. You're going to go to 3.4, the, the um, charge is going to tail off to 0 amps, and then you're going to go up to um, you know 3.5, it'll tail to 0 amps, and you're going to go up to 3.6, it'll tail to 0 amps. So um, it's, it's, um, you're probably going to need a constant um, a constant voltage constant current power supply like the one here and that rod details in the article we'll roughly uh, go over real quickly what's happening here um, you know he um, just details this this is his whole instruction set really but he does give the give his philosophy behind you know why he is is it has gone about this method um, so I think it's a pretty serious matter this top balancing if you exceed this threshold you're gonna be in a lot of trouble um, and you could blow up your you could blow up your investment um, you might want to consider a way to rig a high voltage disconnect either on the AC wire or on the DC wire of this charger and I'm talking about monitoring this this um, the pack the battery pack level uh, so I think that is about it um, I just wanted to remind you that you know if you let things go and you're not <laughs> you don't pay attention to details lithium can blow up parts can catch on 
on fire. Uh, and the rest of this video is just about me showing you how I, you know, charged my batteries. So um, you can either stop here or continue watching. I would like you to hit the like button or subscribe if you could. Um, that'll kind of motivate me to keep documenting my projects. Um, good luck on your project. Now I have the uh, marine battery fuse uh, module that I'm going to hook up. It's a 300 amp uh, marine battery fuse and just screw them on to this terminal here. Um, you know, I'm going to screw it there and uh, put that on to the positive side of the battery. Hooked the up. charger set to about 3.62 volts. Um, it's indicating somewhere around 3.7. And at that voltage, I am driving about 8.4 amps. Uh, and the battery, these batteries here are rated at um, 3.65 volts, uh, volts per cell. So what I'm doing here is charging these with the battery charger they're all in parallel and I'm reading the voltage from the battery with this meter right here what really matters is the battery voltage at the battery that can't exceed 3.65 and it is well under that what I'm going to do per Rod's article is do step charging. I paralleled these batteries and they were all sitting at about 3.3 volts and I'm headed to 3.4 volts is my goal and then I'm going to let them sit there for a little while and rest and then go on to uh, charge up to uh, I believe 3.6. I will give you a link to the article that I'm using. I again, I'm not an expert, but I um, follow Rod at Marine How To's article to um, do this step top balancing. As we have uh, parallel bars here, so when you purchase the battery here, you need to make sure that you have six of these bars. And so that way you can um, parallel up your your Aspen. your your um, the polarity before you <laughs> plug your charger in. Uh, this charger is also referred to in the article that I'm going to link you to. And I want to just sh show you one quick experiment here. Um, what I'm going to do is um, this is a 20 uh, 30 volt 20 amp charger that Rod recommends that we only run to 80 percent so that would be around 16 amps so what we're going to do is crank this up to 16 amps and see what happens to the battery voltage here uh, so let's um, do that right now I'm going to take this up to 16 amps by tweaking the voltage here. Oh, I overshot there. I'm gonna have to tweak. Okay, so that's that's 16 amps, and this is indicating 3.9 volts. Seven, 3.87 is what I'm pushing out. Of course, this far exceeds, and you could hear the fan come on on this charger here. This far exceeds the 3.65, okay, pushing out a lot more amps. And you, you can see here, it really didn't impact the battery voltage much. So if you're sitting here and watching babysitting this, um, I'd say you can probably get away with it. It's not covered in Rod's article, but I have done this before, and it does push out a bunch of amps. You can see though, when I take down the voltage to uh, somewhere around 3.6, 
which is underneath the voltage of the of the packs um, or the maximum voltage of the cell um, you know right about there I'm only pushing out 6.4 so it's going to take a long time to get to the top uh, so I uh, prefer usually to just crank up the uh, voltage till I get to um, you know somewhere around 16 amps and this of course you have to be very careful not to walk away because you could uh, just blow this blow this pack up uh, if I walk away I, t I tend to put my voltage way down you know I might I might I might put my voltage down to uh, um, you know three point you know four or something well 3.4 won't work well but you know somewhere you know pretty low 3.5 possibly uh, and that's kind of how we go about this so step balancing now and I'm at uh, 3.5 with um, everything in parallel and I'm looking at my charger that's set to uh, I found this equilibrium point around 3.512 and um, I'm got 1.1 amp dialed in on the voltmeter on my battery I'm solid on 3.5 and it's been this way you know plus or minus you know <laughs> point oh you know a, a few millivolts um, it's been plus or minus this way for a couple of hours. I've just been um, pretty much steady on on this 0.1 amp. So it's just it takes forever here. It took me a while to get here, and now I'm here, and I've just dialed down the amperage because what happens is you end up starting to overshoot this. 3 so I'm five. following uh, Rod's uh, step balancing method or parallel and I'm uh, dialed into 3.5 now and I pretty much I can't I can turn the, the current knob here and I'm not really getting too much uh, so it's actually just kind of I don't exactly know what's going on there, but I I've got this this voltage dialed in here, and I've got you know this voltage here, and I've been kind of sitting here just charging it under 0.1, and this hasn't been going anywhere. So I'm at the 3.5, and now Rod says, okay, go go to 3.6. So I'm going to take this um, fine adjustment up. I'm going to turn the current up a little. And then so I'm right now headed for uh, 3.6. 3.6. You're supposed to turn this off and set the voltage first, but I've got such a big pack here that, you know, that there's a lot of, you know, what, whatever you do with the power supply, it's not really going to affect um, this battery right away. So you see, I'm kind of just kind of still at 3.5. And um, what I'm going to do is dial this up to 3.6. And uh, some change probably. It's really okay. So 3.61, and I've got 2.2 on the amps. And um, I'm right now just leaving almost 3.5, right? So um, I'm going to let this thing run. Um, if I wanted to get there a little faster, of course, um, I could um, crank this up a little, but then I, I got to make sure that I'm around. And what happens in this stage from 
from 3.5 to 3.6, it gets there really fast sometimes. And you kind of don't want to do that. Um, and it's probably better that you charge real slowly anyway, because the you know you're, that's what you're after to balance things out. Um, so right now I'm in just for the just to let you know I'm in constant voltage mode, and it's it 2.2 is all the amps that this thing is gonna take. These this pack is gonna. So I tuned this to 3.6. I'm still trying to get there. I remember, it was like at 2. And um, so I'm, again, I got the voltmeter attached to some these leads right here. And um, those those leads are just, just for me to read the voltage off the meter. I have chosen to get one of these. I think I found it on AliExpress and Amazon. I have another video on this particular meter. I don't think they have it anymore, but you can find them on AliExpress. And the main thing that you just get the, the level of precision, um, you need to look for the specific level of precision with these number of digits. And so what happens is this thing ends up, you know, it starts at two, and then as you approach the um, the 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 point the set point it just the the voltage or the amperage just drops down it's down down step it's late uh, zero amps um, we're set for three point six and my battery meter is very close to three point six so uh, I think this is going to be it for a bit. I'm going to probably shut it I think it about 12 hours ago is when I stopped the, uh, I terminated the charging. So um, it's it kind of dropped a little bit, right? I charged, you know, to, to 3.6, right? You know, I'm just testing across the cells here and seeing that you know I've, I've got pretty much the same voltage across all these cells right now with these bars in now i'm going to break the battery down i'll do a quick voltage check three five four four three five four two Three, five, four, three, four, two. Three, five, four, probably one, right? So I've got about nine millivolts of uh, difference in the cells right now from high, highest to lowest and I've taken it down probably uh, I've been running uh, about a three or four amp load for about three hours now and what happened was it I was way up 271 amp hours the top balance uh, and I started cells. running and it 